Wow, the Jonas Brothers on the radio, people watching Fruits Basket. It's really 2009 again, huh? Now for the swine flu. Hey guys, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to. My favorite bit of black dog folklore is that in some folklore, there is a belief that the first person buried in a cemetery stays there and doesn't cross over and helps other spirits move on and protects them from evil spirits. Now naturally, people want to avoid this fate for their loved ones and themselves. So they would sometimes bury a dog first, and they would return in the shape of a big black dog and protect the newly dead from evil spirits, and occasionally the living as well. This kind of spirit is called a church grim. Uh, you mean it's called a good doggy? Auntie Mom. You know, it's okay if you don't finish your plate because you're only human and the vast majority of food waste comes from corporations and government organizations throwing it away and not households. Auntie Dad, as long as you live under my roof, we will communicate and negotiate the terms and rules together to make it the most pleasant living experience for the both of us. This, this is the Adams family. That's because the Adams are a healthy family. I'm not like other girls. I don't die when I'm killed. People die if they're killed. That's the way it should be. Yeah, but I, me, I'm not like the other girls. I should have known better than to be mentally ill in high school. Me reading your tarot cards. Okay, I have drawn the Empress, the Queen of Discs, the uh, Jack of Diamonds, Blue Eyes White Dragon, a couple of Swamplands, and Pikachu. I place the Knave of Swords face down in defense mode and end my turn. Imagine getting jumped by a bunch of ants and you hear them say, Take his ass to the microwave! Your partner needs to see you, Pete, please help him! Okay, so I was listening to music and I got this message. At first, I assumed that my boyfriend sent the wrong person a message asking for toilet paper. But when I got up to bring him some, I saw his phone on his bed and realized, Please someone message my partner on Tumblr, I'm trapped with no TP and they have their headphones on! Help! He left his phone in the room and only took a switch with him. So all I could do was desperately tweet in SOS. I had to adapt to fucking survive. The ultimate power move in a vampire-fairy rivalry would be the fairy inviting the vampire over for tea. The vampire has natural dominion over anyone who invites them into their home, and the fairy has natural dominion over anyone who violates the laws of hospitality. And neither can refuse the appointment without shown weakness. So it'd just be a constant head game of the vampire trying to maneuver the fairy into a position where the obligations of hospitality allow the vampire to eat them, and the fairy trying to trick the vampire into doing something that they would allow the fairy to declare them a poor guest. You know, eventually they're gonna get hit with the magical equivalent of being snowed in together, right? Is... is that not the point? Enemies to lovers! You know, things could be worse. Your parents could be turned into pigs, you could be forced into slavery at a bathhouse, and your boyfriend could be a river. Yeah, it. I'm sad I wasn't born in the era of- Bitch, do it! If you like love letters, write them. If you like poodle skirts, wear them. Society is imploding as we watch an abject horror. Do whatever you want. Well then, time to buy a guillotine. An older human calls you son. Mm. Dwarf calls you laddie. Oh, elven woman calls you love. <laughs> Orc chief calls you cub. <laughs> and goblin calls you friend. 